Hi, I am Chef Lynn Villa and welcome to our kitchen. Today we are going to discuss salad dressings, vinaigrettes in particular. You know, I can think of so many wonderful reasons why you should create your own salad dressings. Number one, they're economical. You get so much more for your money and you get such good ingredients here at PCC. Number two, simple, simple, simple. And number three, and probably my favorite reason, is that, you know, they taste so incredibly fresh and the options are endless. You're really only limited by your imagination. So let's kind of break it down and simplify it. Basically, a vinaigrette is a combination of vinegar and oil. Oil. Simple as that, okay? So let's talk a little bit about those two ingredients. First of all, vinegars. So I sort of categorize vinegars in sort of three general categories. You've got your sort of full-bodied, full-flavored vinegars like balsamic and sherry wine vinegar. Then you've got your lighter vinegars, everything from maybe champagne or white wine vinegar all the way down to apple cider vinegar or even rice vinegar. And then you've got your sort of fruit-infused vinegars. We carry a fig, a pomegranate vinegar. Oh, gorgeous. So that's sort of your vinegars. You can sort of pick and choose based on your taste buds and even, you know, what you have in your pantry or whatever your recipe calls for. Now let's move to the oils. The oils sort of balance out the acidity of the of the vinegars and give you that nice succulent mouthfeel. Kind of the anchor of all the culinary oils, I would say, is probably the extra virgin olive oil. We carry a multitude of varieties, so you have your pick of those, all different wonderful kinds. But if you want something a little bit lighter, because, you know, extra virgin Virgin olive oils tend to be big and bold in flavor. Can sort of, you know, get, make it a little bit softer with maybe a grapeseed oil or some of the nut oils. We have avocado oil, walnut oil, um, we have macadamia nut oil, almond oil, all these fabulous little combinations of flavors. When you're looking for oils, especially when they're going in salad dressings, you look for the terms like unrefined or extra virgin cold pressed or expeller pressed. Those are the oils that are going to still maintain their vitality and their flavors. And then of course we get down to the sesame oils as well. Two different kinds of sesame oils. We've got a um, toasted sesame oil, big bold flavor, and an untoasted sesame oil. Which you can use a little more of, get that sesame flavor, but with a little bit lighter hand. So that's kind of where we start. Now we start talking about what we're going to do with these to make them special and make them your own signature dressings. All right, so we're gonna start by preparing a sort of basic, classic vinaigrette. And what we're gonna do is do it in two phases and I'll sort of talk you through it as we go. So we're gonna add some shallots. You can do a little bit of chive or a little minced onion. Some people put garlic in there, so that's up to you if you like. A little fresh thyme in there. A little pinch of salt. And some, I put some fresh chopped herbs in here. That's a little basil, um, savory and some Italian parsley, and then a little pinch of Dijon mustard. I'm using a whole grain mustard. You can use any kind you like. And then we're going to add our vinegar. So what we've done is we've just sort of mixed all of the ingredients that aren't the oil part of the vinaigrette. We've got those combined, and then we're going to take our oil, and in this case I'm using an extra virgin olive oil, and we're just going to kind of slowly pour it in here in kind of a thin stream. Now what we're trying to do is just kind of blend the oil and the vinegar. This isn't officially what we would call an emulsion. Um, which actually binds the bonds the oil to the vinegar. It's more just kind of getting them so that they make sort of a little creamy base. Now I wanted to point out to you that this um, at works as a vinaigrette but also equally well as a marinade. Classic marinades actually have a nice little balance of vinegar and oils with the garlic and the shallots and all that kind of stuff. So you have lots of uses that you can you know put this to. So you've got that gorgeous little base vinaigrette. And then I'll tell you one of my favorite things to do with this is to turn it into sort of a classic blue cheese dressing, but use a good local, maybe a smoky blue cheese. Just cut chunks of it up. In fact, why don't we just do it? What do you think, huh? Tuck them in there. And this makes a really, really special, special dressing, especially for a summertime salad, maybe just some uh, fresh tomatoes, some roasted asparagus. I've got a little, um, plate here with some tuna, some uh, broccoli, roasted, all kinds of fun things. And you know what? Maybe, you know, we could just like drizzle that right over the top. I'll show you what this is going to look like. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. That's summertime. Okay, beautiful. Now I want to show you a couple of other variations on vinaigrettes, sort of the other ends of the bell curve. Right here I've got a fresh berry vinaigrette, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, whatever you want to use. A little bit lighter vinegar for that one, maybe a champagne vinegar or a, or a white wine vinegar. And then a lighter oil too. I like walnut oil in there, kind of classic sort of a French summery flavor. And then I've got another vinaigrette here, kind of an Asian style. 
soy sauce, rice vinegar, ginger, garlic, green onions, a little pinch of sugar, all those wonderful, beautiful flavors. Just blend that up and then think of all the uses you can do with that. So come visit us. We have everything you need to create your own signature dressings and of course, all your salad fixes as well.